They leveled all this out so that we could put whatever we want in See? here. That was my finger. Dude, they match your shirt. Oh, yeah. They've grown so much. They're like big bowling balls. Come on. Ow. Golly. What is going on? <clears throat> what is... <clears throat> I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we're showing you pretty much everything I got. We're gonna tour my house, and then after tour my house, we're gonna hop over to my mom's house and tour the animals that we got there for right now. I've also have three ponds there. You'll see it all. Stay tuned, be ready. This is really gonna update you guys on everything. I'm excited to show you, and uh, let's roll right into the video, what we filmed earlier today, when it was actually daylight out. Here we go. For any of you that are curious, this is the tilapia I feed everything. Literally everything eats this. It's skinless and boneless tilapia. It's what a human would normally eat too because you could just put this on a frying pan and fry her up. This is what I feed all my fish. It comes in bags just like this and you can get it at Walmart. If you are curious, that's, that's why I mentioned it. Now, the 160 ounce in the wall over there eats like two of these. The clown knife and everything else that is inside there eats these smaller chunks. The platinums, We'll eat these bigger chunks right there. So pretty much what I do is I'll just cut it into lines like this and then cut it depending on what fish I'm feeding. Just like that. By the way, shout out to my boy David Bell behind the camera there. Say what's up, David. Yo, what up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have his links down in the description. Follow him on Instagram. Uh, we got this, we got this filet as well. Man, I kind of go off how hungry the fish are. Uh, I don't always feed them two fillets, but I usually cut two fillets, and then I, of course, you just go in the backyard and feed the turtles as much food because they'll just never stop eating. Just like that. Oh, Chef Paul. <laughs> he didn't even look at it. I know, I was looking right at the lens the whole time. <laughs> just like that. Oh. All right, don't try that at home, kids, but we got our tilapia cut. Here we go, and look how beautiful it looks now. I mentioned before this wall was white. Now it's like this gray blue. It pops the aquarium, just like I said it would. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And the new baseboard on the bottom here now too. So now as you see the 160 gallons in the wall, you come around the corner here into the office where all the fan art is all over the walls. Shout out to everyone who sent fan art. PO box is in the description if you did want to send any. Let me turn this fan off. Here's the back side where you can access it. You can see the fish are beyond ready to eat. Ready, ready to eat. So what we're gonna do is just literally get a handful, just like this. I'm just kind of slide my hand under there and drop it. Slurping, absolutely just ate like half the whole entire filet that I just dropped in there. You see the Raphael catfish right there is trying to eat tilapia, but that's not really what it eats. It eats pellets, sinking pellets. Which I'll show you right here. I have them right here. That's the bicher. Then you get the Raphael. Oh, watch catfish. Whoop! Sucked it in like nothing, dude. Oh, here comes big cat. See what I'm talking about? They eat like full tilapia fillets though. I'll keep dropping it and watch this fish. Boom. Goes crazy. You can see the Raphael now eating pellets as well. All these smaller chunks. Look at these. And this is where the clown knife hangs out. You can see them right there. See them on the other side? And then that'll sink. Clown knife will get to those. But in this tank, we have a tiger shovel nose catfish, a jaguar cichlid, a Oscar, two platinum red tail catfish, a Raphael, and a bicher. That's it. I think I, did I mention the clown fish too? The clown knife. We have that too, the albino clown knife. But that's it, 160 gallon with that amount of fish in here. These platinum red tail catfish right here are so big, they're about ready to go outside. Like they're, they're huge, you're getting huge, this tiger. And uh, that's that, that's the 160 gallon in the wall. Now let's go over to my brother's room, which has two fish tanks in it, but I can't show you what's in the other fish tank because that video has not gone live yet. Inside this room right here, we have a sleeping piglet on the bed. It's Lulu. She's out cold. She literally got out of the bath. I just gave her a bath. And she just goes right onto the bed and knocks out. Gone. Good night, girl. All right, we'll leave her. She'll sleep for like 10 more hours. All right, on to the room right behind you, David. Before I show you that room, I actually have to show you because people are staying updated on what's going on at the house. This bathroom is done.
That's a bathroom. <laughs> the filter on this tank actually just went out yesterday. You can see it's right here. It stopped working, so I threw one of these filters on right here. As you can see, it's keeping the water crystal clear. There's a decent amount of fish in here, though. We got clown loaches, uh, tiger barbs, Colombian tetras, giant daniels, angelfish, um, rainbow sharks, quarry cats, and then of course a colored crawfish. Every single colored crawfish. We have a blue crawfish, a white crawfish, a red crawfish, and a multiple colored crawfish. Like it's super cool. All I do is pretty much get like three or four chunks, drop them in one by one. You'll see the clown loaches just go absolutely nuts on these. And then I throw about two or three more a little bit after that once the clown loaches are doing their own thing. And that's what they'll do, they'll eat on that. And then I also feed all of these fish, obviously the aquascape flakes, throughout the day. That's like what they mainly eat. This is like a treat. Who's calling me now? <laughs> Papa, what's your favorite fish that I own? Wow, that's a hard one. I mean, God, the big, the big bass was one of my favorites. Thump. Thump. We haven't been there yet. We're going to my mom's later on in this video. Hey, Papa, you're on YouTube right now. I am? Yeah, say hi. Hi. How do I get on YouTube? Well, you're on the phone right now, and I'm just filming you. Oh, my gosh. Paul, don't do that. Listen. <laughs> get it. Get it, get it. Oh, he got it. Oh, now this one's coming up. Oh, got my finger. They're so aggressive. That's what trained turtles look like. This pool pond right here uh, has, I believe, six, seven, eight turtles in it. Eight turtles in it from painted yellow bellies, uh, soft shell. There's a big old snapping turtle, like palm size in there. He hides all the time. Okay, can't show my address, but look at this, see? Expected by tomorrow. Expected by, you saw that? Tomorrow, filter comes for this. So bear with me. I'm dealing with like the clean water algae look, but the UV is coming tomorrow. So we got a massive UV filter that's coming in, which is gonna take this green algae on the side away. You'll see if you come here. See the water's clear? It happened the same thing in the pool pond. And you can see if I rub my fingers, see the line in the water? It's just an algae coat on the side that's making that green. But I'm gonna have these turtles have crystal clear water in just a day. Tomorrow the filter comes, I'll plug it in, get it all set. These guys, same thing, they eat tilapia and of course turtle pellets, but I'm just gonna drop the tilapia in and uh, don't go crazy. There is five albino red ear sliders in here, by the way. I built this whole entire thing strictly for them. Hopefully they're gonna have some babies here shortly. There's three females and two males. The sun is going down out here, as you can tell, um, but I do have this one last thing in my backyard, and then we got the front yard. The 12 foot all around pool pond out here. I don't want to walk up too much because I do spook them and then it stirs up the bottom. But check it out, I got a bunch of fish in here. I'm considering getting a 22 foot all around pond here shortly to upgrade this because these fish are just getting bigger. But check this out for now. We got a tropical gar right here, all melanistic, which means black, all black gar. Super rare and expensive fish right there. There is all sorts of catfish in here. You can see the Oscar and the Arowana both coming up on you right now. There's two Oscars, Tiger Oscars in here. And then that's a silver arowana, which is a net above this so the arowana can't jump out. We'll watch. Boom, they all come up. But what I do is literally just see the tiger shovel nose coming up through it. But I can hand feed these. All these fish hand feed. See? That was my finger. Oh my goodness. He mistook my finger as a piece of tilapia. Yeah, I gotta clean the lens now. <laughs> in order to feed that guard, it has really bad eyesight. You need to literally drop it on its nose and you'll see it goes doom and like launches to the side. So I have this little amount of tilapia that I always save at the end. Now that everything else ate, I'm just going to wait here until that guard comes back around because this is constantly going in circles, the water. See? See? There he goes. You got two right there. You just learn how to feed everything throughout so many times. Let me show you what just happened recently. You can see two of the chickens are over there. See them? Two chickens? It's two chickens that are just out right now. I don't know if you remember, like two days ago, this was completely unleveled, just nasty. Now, the whole backyard is leveled, all leveled out, and they just laid all this side this morning. All of it this morning. They leveled all this out so that we could put whatever we want in here and nothing's gonna like drain into nasty water. The barn is gonna go right here. Right here, this is all gonna be gated in with electrical fence so that nothing like coyotes and stuff can't really get in. There's a lot to do out here, like a lot to do. So that's for future projects. I'm telling you, if you haven't done so already, join the family. Download the subscribe button, click that button. After doing that, hit the bell. 
hit the bell and you'll be notified every time I upload. I know we're walking around at the same time of filming this because I want to make it more of like a tour and what I have going on here. We haven't even made it to my mom's house yet. That's like tomorrow. And we also have one more thing inside to show you. That's the coffee table fish tank. I saved the best for last. It's literally a coffee table with fish in it. Inside the patio is this patio bowl. I set this up like the first week I moved into this house and there's 11, I believe, platies in here. You know what? We'll show that in just a second. None of them are out right now. I don't know why. Right here are my Indian spotted turtles. We got these last video. If you haven't seen these, this is super cool. Super easy setup for them too. But look how beautiful those are. Dude, they match your shirt. Oh yeah. These things are super cool. Indian spotted turtles. Cannot wait till those grow. And uh, do some future videos with them. But they're in there for right now. Over here. Here the platies are all out now. See? I told you they were going to come. Come here. Come here. See them all? They're everywhere. There's a ton of them. They just see them. They're starting to come out left and right now. They just hide. They hide all up in the roots. That's that. I feed those guys flakes as well. Out here is the front yard toy pond. This is beautiful. Sorry, sorry, David. <laughs> Aquascape came, of course, hooked it up with this beautiful ecosystem right here. Look at this pond. Drops everywhere. We got the main pond down here. We got the sinking pellets. David, come here, check this out. Everything eats these in this pond. The ball of sharks, the iridescence that really do like to hide at nighttime. I don't know why. And then uh, all the koi fish. You can see everything's just chowing. Even the minnows go down to bottom and start eating it. This right here, if you didn't see it last video, Paul Thigpen hooked it up with this beast of a truck, and I've named it. I've named it, and I've stuck with my name. I asked you guys to comment. Names down below in my last video. Betsy. Big Betsy. Bertha. She goes by both. The coolest part is, is all these plants have grown so much that it looks like the water is literally just like coming out of the ground up there. It's so natural. And one other thing, the way that these rocks are set is just so beautiful and perfect. They did such an amazing job. David, <laughs> I bet you guys thought I was Paul. David! Ooh, check me out on Instagram at It's David Bell. You already oh, know. So Promoting myself. What? He Skirt. deserves it. He deserves it. <laughs> Hello, Bubba and little two piglets. Baloo, that's Baloo, and that's Pua. That was the first one to come out. By the way, yes, this was all green, green grass before I uh, put them back here, and they've officially absolutely destroyed my parents' backyard. I'm very sorry, Mom and Dad. Oh yeah, they really uh, did a hurting on this place. This is their little mud pit right here. The water drips out and they just go crazy in here. That's what pigs do, they are very destructive. They just root, they root, they root, they root. But it's alright, I'll come back here, I'll redo everything, make it real nice for my parents again once I put these pigs back to my house. Right now, as you know, there's a lot of construction going on, the gates are wide open, and I can't keep them outside during the day, so why not just keep them here? They've grown so much, they're like big bowling balls. Look how big your cheeks are. Look at those cheeks. This is Bubba, Daddy-o. Right, Bubba? And this is Baloo right here. Baloo, you used to be the most friendly, you're like very shy now. Got a bunch of koi fish in this pond right here. This is the koi pond, and uh, it's a plant that they ate straight out of the ground. Oh wow, holy moly. I've got a lot of work to do, that's for sure. This is the mini pond. Look how many mollies and platies there are in here. Look how many fish are up in here. If you just look closely, there's so many. That is the mini pond, and then if you come over here, this is the original, the OG, the dopest pond I got. Big pond with thump in it. There it is. So dope. A little stepping stone in the middle. And over here is we got four or five, five Midas cichlids. Champ, the smaller largemouth down there. And a gar, there's a gar right there. Big old gar. But Thump, our largemouth bass, this bass is absolutely huge. It probably will come up to my hand right now though. Come on. Ow, golly. She's beyond aggressive. Roll the clip. Thump, you are nor- That's why, that's my grandpa's favorite fish, and to be honest, 
My favorite too. What's your favorite fish that I own? You watched this whole entire video and you made it to this point. You probably have one. Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, like this video. Please do like this video. We got Komodo dragons running around back here. That's how big these curly tails are. Look at that thing. Here you go. That's all I got for you from this backyard. It was a really quick little session there showing you guys what's going on back here right now. I'm going to send you back to my house now again to show you the coffee table fish tank that you've all been waiting to see. I've just been holding it off because we did something to it. Check it out. Check it out. I've been hiding. Dude, Joey, how long has it been since I've shown this thing? Wow. The comments are unreal. Like, where's the coffee table fish tank? Where's the coffee table? Anyway, look at the flow. We got incredible flow now. I redid all this because the oxygen wasn't great in the old one. You can see the water's still a little cloudy. It's because I'm still like cleaning out the filter. This rock is very powdery when you first put it in. And this is only about like a week old with this stuff in there. This is all sand. You can see all the blood parrots that are inside like the rocks. And there's also an aerator on the top now too. There, we also stuck a light on the top, so we're gonna get something that covers the light so it's like, you know what I mean, where you can't see that, and then that's just lit up. But look at that thing now. Much, much more natural. And then give it another couple days and it'll be crystal, crystal clear. It's just not like the biggest filter. But we got all the blood parrots in there, chilling, they're hiding everywhere. They're in all different spots for us. The inside of that rock in the middle is hollow, so they're all probably literally sitting in that hole. If I turn these lights off, they might, come out, but I don't know, I doubt it. Oh. Another one came out? Yep, look, look. See his nose? One, there's another one, another one in there. That's the coffee table fish tank you guys were wondering so much about. It's still chilling, I just did a lot of stuff to it, and I was waiting to show it for this video right here. Hopefully you like the way I did it now, I think it looks a lot better, definitely, for sure. Lulu's grumpy right now. Lulu, what are you grunting at? <laughs> she told me, she goes, uh. <laughs> Oh! She's grunting. That is indeed all I got for you today, and it's also indeed pretty much everything I have. I have tadpoles at my mom and dad's too, the three bullfrogs that are growing up, but I just didn't film those, I don't know why. I'll get to them next time. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to... That's not the one, but that's fine. <laughs> Richard! Nice clip, man. Appreciate that, Richard. Hey, if you want to win a positive comment, shout out and have your comment on the screen. And one of these upcoming videos, all you got to do is drop a positive comment down in the comments down below, and that's all it takes, literally. If you have yet to do so already, join the family, hit the subscribe button, become like a pharaoh. Let's see if we can get to 1.3 million here before the month ends. Thank you all so much for watching. Really, for real, I do appreciate it. We got some cool merch on the site, paulcafarrowbrand.com. It's top link in the description. Check it out. And until next time, I'll see you in that next video. Peace. Paul? 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 What the heck are you doing? Sorry. <laughs>